All right, everyone, it's uh, <clears throat> Mud here. Just wanted to uh, do a video on seatbelt rattle fix on the Honda Civic. This is a Honda Civic 2022. Um, so I'll just show you what you need to do to fix the rattle. All right, guys, this is what you're gonna need. A uh, pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of dikes or wire cutters. Um, I'm using a flathead screwdriver to help tighten the zip tie. And then uh, this is basically a socket extender, which I'm gonna use as a metal punch. Um, but you can use any type of metal rod. Uh, and then I'm using a mallet, which you can use a mallet or a hammer, doesn't matter. Um, and then this is the push pin replacement for the pillar because you will not be able to reuse the pillar um, push pin. And so the number is 91561 TVA A01. And it basically just looks like that. And then um, this is a, a prying tool mainly because it's plastic, it won't uh, mess up the plastic um, part we need to remove from the pillar. And then uh, this is just a regular zip tie. Um, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in a minute. Okay, let's get in the car. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get this uh, little cover taken off and we're going to use this um, little pry tool here. <sighs> okay, the way you can tell that uh, it's was hit hard enough is you you can actually start pulling it and uh, you can see that it's actually coming off so just be very careful when you're taking this push pin out because um, it could fall it's basically just held in by this plastic thing here and um, and on the pin uh, you can actually see this little groove here and it's important because when we put it back together you want to put that groove right back into that uh, section right there uh, this, this uh, section right here okay all right so you can uh, you can do this without taking this whole thing off. Um, but if you do want to take the whole pillar off, you just you just have to pull this section up here on, uh, on both sides. All right, so basically once, once you get this back part off, so this whole thing will pop out. So it basically just comes right off just like that. All right, so just so you can see it better, this is uh, this is the collar part where the push pin will sit in when you put it back in, and then it just goes back into that hole. And then um, these little things here, uh, there's a lot of, one up here and one down here, are important because they when you put everything back together, you're gonna wanna make sure that this rubber part just kinda 
clips into there and holds it in place. So here's the, the issue really. This um this part here is what slides up and down. And because there's a little bit of play there, that is what's making the rattling sound. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the zip tie underneath the rail and actually route it right through this um, little post here and the top of this housing here. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of play there. So it, um, probably what's making the rattling sound so you take your zip tie here and about about right here where you want to route that through No play. Oh. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to take uh, my screwdriver and just hold that piece there and I'm going to pull on that uh, with the needle nose pliers to make it really tight. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I got actually two clicks on that. Um, and as you can see, it still moves up and down, but now it's like, it's solid. There's no play in there. And then we're just gonna take the dikes and we're gonna cut this excess off here real quick. All right, that's what it looks like. Okay, and then putting it back on basically um, you'll see down here there's these two little posts and uh... Okay, so basically when you put this back on you want to um, make sure those holes and those clips this that section right there goes into that on both sides and then just push really hard and it snaps back in all right so now just got to get this back in there so best thing to do is just kind of hold it all right, so now just got it, got it in there, and it actually will stay pretty well. Just uh, push it back, and then just push down on it, and then once it snaps, it's locked in there. And the last thing you want to do is remember those little tabs, like right there. You want to just pull that back and push it in and then do that for all four tabs uh, and if you took this out basically just snap those back on and then the last thing is last thing is you just want to put that back in there there's that little bump right there and that matches up with that little hole there Boom, and you are done. No more rattles. Well, there's that, but 
the rail doesn't rattle anymore. So, all right, let me know if this uh, works for you.